Welcome back to Golf the Beer X's winning what's in the bag this week from the 2024 Genesis Invitational. This was a wild weekend. We had people drop out, withdrawals, DQs. It was crazy. But Hideki Matsuyama is the winner. Shot 62 on Sunday, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, the former Masters champ comes away with a win, and he has a very tough bag to shoot when it comes to what's in the bags. He's always on the range with, it seems like, more than 14 clubs. He always has a lot of uh, new shafts, clubs, whatever that he's testing or trying out. So it's kind of hard to nail down exactly what's in his bag. We're going to go with what we're pretty sure uh, was in there, but even our resident photographer, Greg Moore, has admitted his is a tough one to shoot. Uh, we'll start with the driver, and the driver is a Strixon ZX-5 LS Mark II. So the ZX-5 is the more most forgiving model in the Mark II uh, set of drivers from Strixon, and the LS is going to be the lower spin model. So it is lower spinning, still has some forgiveness, and Hideki's is a prototype. It's called the T230, as you can see uh, down where the loft is on the heel of the club. We're not really sure what T230 means. There's speculation online. Some people think it might be a slightly smaller, maybe more compact head, but we really don't know. Uh, it is a ZX-5 LS from the looks. It's got the forward uh, weight that's interchangeable. Uh, it is a 9.5 head, and the hosel is set to plus one uh, in terms of loft, so playing 10.5. That is shafted with Hideki's very favorite graphite design, Toure D DI, but this is an 8TX, so an 80 gram, Tour X stiff shaft. Um, the graphite design Tour AD, well known, has been a, uh, on tour for a long, long time. The 80 gram version uh, is, is a little more rare. We don't see that as often. But the DI is the orange shaft with the white ring graphics up near the handle section. It's a little softer in the handle, kind of mid stiffness in the center, and then a stiff tip section. Uh, in the 60 gram weights, it's kind of very well known for being a little higher launching, but low, still low spin. When you get into these 80 gram shafts, the 80 gram versions, uh, they tend to be more mid-launch and low spin. Now Hideki's interesting that it's got a little uh, tag up near the handle that says 44.8 and zero tip. So we're going to go ahead and assume that this has zero tipping, which you probably don't need with an 80TX uh, or an 8TX. But uh, the 44.8, I'm going to assume, is maybe the total shaft length before it goes into adapter, or maybe it's with adapter, I'm not sure, but that's going to go basically part of the playing length, uh, I assume. But zero tipping is, is uh, what you'd expect from a driver of that caliber. Now, the three-wood is something brand new. It's a TaylorMade QI-10, the 15-degree head, and this is the standard model, not the, not the Tour uh, with a changeable hosel, a titanium one. This is the standard one here, uh, and it's going to have, again, a graphite design Tour AD DI-9TX. So this is the 90-gram version uh, that, again, you don't see a whole lot. Uh, very, very stout shaft, and from what I've heard, I've never played anything of that weight. Uh, played a 7X from Gravity Design. I've never played the 8 or the 9, uh, but I've heard it's very stout and uh, quite a robust shaft, uh, but works well in a fairway wood with a little bit of added launch. Hideki also does play a 5 wood. The 5 wood is an, a little bit older Cobra Rad Speed Tour, and it's a 17.5 degree 5 wood head with a hosel setting of plus 1.5, so it's playing at 19 degrees. And this one here uh, was kind of known for having, it was uh, it had the rails on the bottom, it was kind of known for coming out a little bit flatter, the rad speed was, compared to the drivers previously, uh, and even some of the ones afterwards, it was a little bit flatter launch, pretty compact head, uh, but the tour heads had a really nice shape to them. Uh, and then <laughs> shaft in this one, a, two, a graphite design, Tour AD 10. TX. Yes, this is a 100 gram graphite design DI. Now, this isn't made for retail. Uh, it's not a shaft that you, that's listed on their website or anything. I think it's only made for the tour players. So getting your hands on one would not be easy. I don't know how many of us need a 100 gram TX graphite design DI. Uh, now, the graphics, uh, I don't have graphic uh, a graphic for the three wood, uh, but for the five wood, it does have a, uh, a tipping of 1.75 inches, uh, swing weight point D4, and it looks like 380 grams, uh, which I would assume would be the entire total static weight uh, of the build. Uh, and then it does say 40.5 on it as well, which I'm going to assume is potentially the playing length of that club. That's a little short uh, by five wood standards. Uh, but again, it could be just the shaft length, either with or without adapter. We don't know. But 1.75 inches of tipping uh, on a 10TX is pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> We move into the irons now, and the irons, uh, you know, he's always played kind of a, a Srixon blade, and he's had some prototypes in the bag before. His are Srixon Z-Forged 2s, so the current Srixon Z-Forged, which is their blade. 
Now, when I look at his, I looked at the photos I took uh, when the Z Forge 2 first came out at retail. His do look to have a slightly different muscle uh, design on the back. Uh, the actual little, there's kind of indentations kind of midway up uh, on the toe and the heel. And they look a little, di little bit deeper than the retail models, especially comparing 7-iron photos to 7-iron photos. So they may be slightly modified. The soles are definitely different. They do not have the Tour V sole on them. It's a little bit more of a traditional sole. Uh, it looks to be it doesn't have that triangular uh, look to it. So the turf interaction might be a little bit different than the retail model that you were able to buy in stores or go look at in store. Those are shafted, uh, again, four through pitching wedge. Those are shafted with true temper dynamic gold tour issue S400s. Yes, yeah, pretty interesting that he plays extremely heavy and stout shafts in his woods and then goes to a very heavy and slightly softer shaft in his irons, but that's just what works for him. And he does have that interesting tempo uh, where he kind of pauses at the top. So that shaft just works for him. Now that is, again, a heavier shaft. I think we've talked about it before, comes in about 132 grams. So Hideki likes heavy shafts in his clubs. <laughs> we go to the wedges and the wedges again are something kind of interesting. Uh, they're Cleveland RTX4 forged wedges. So we are currently here on the RTX6 zip cores. That's what you find in retail in the current lineup from Cleveland. These are RTX4s, which are a couple generations old, but they are forged. Cleveland wedges over here in the States are typically cast, like the, the RTX zip cores uh, that you can buy now. The models made for overseas, a lot of times in Asian markets, forged, uh, forged wedges are ones that sell better, and that's what people want, and they're willing to pay for them. Uh, so the Cleveland RTX 4 forged is what he's still playing. Uh, they do have kind of a similar shape. They're a little bit more squared off in the toe, the RTX 4 is, compared to the brand new RTX 6s, uh, but he's got a 52 uh, with 10 degrees of bounce, a 56 with 8 degrees of bounce, and a 60 with 8 degrees of bounce. So those there are also, they each have a little bit of lead tape on them as well to kind of customize that uh, that swing weight a little bit. Uh, and uh, those are going to matching shafts to the irons with a True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400. So basically same shaft from irons from 4-iron all the way down to lob wedge. Now the Scotty Cameron uh, putter that he has, again, is a tough one to nail down because he's had He's got quite a collection of Scotty Cameron putters. Uh, there was a time where it seemed like he had one or two out on the putting green all the time. Uh, this week, I believe, uh, beginning of the week, he was kind of going back and forth before, between the two. Uh, the one that he has is basically a Scotty Cameron. It's either a Newport 2 or a Timeless. Uh, they they kind of go by different names on tour. The Timeless, I believe, has like a slightly thicker flange uh, and maybe just slightly bulkier shoulders compared to the standard Newport. Uh, it is based off the Select model where it does have the three dots in the cavity. Uh, this one here is basically three black dots uh, in the cavity. Uh, on the heel, it says Hideki. And then on the toe, it's got the GSS stamp for German stainless steel. I know there's a big thing about SSS. You know, I think it's surgical stainless steel. German stainless steel from Scotty Cameron. Uh, I think German is referred to as being a little bit softer and more responsive. Uh, I don't know how that really plays. I've never putted with one, but it is stamped GSS on the toe bumper. Uh, it's kind of just a satin uh, chrome finish, uh, black markings, and then on the face, same thing. It's just got the Scotty Cameron logo over in the heel uh, with a fairly, fairly shallow milling, which is kind of his go-to no matter what part putter he's had. Uh, and then Ball, he moves into a Srixon Z-Star XV. He's playing the XV model uh, on there, and the grips on all of his clubs uh, beside Putter are Iomic X grips. So Iomic, if you're not familiar with them, uh, they're a, a brand out of uh, Japan that kind of has a unique rubber material. Uh, it's almost like an elastomer type material, very unique, uh, very tacky, very grippy. Uh, type grips. So that's Hideki's winning what's in the bag from the 2024 Genesis Invitational. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, post them below. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you next week to see the next winning what's in the bag.